practical highest good. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 427. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our May 30th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is practical highest good. What is that? Well, highest good is creating for the highest good of all people in life on this planet. It's about creating for the common good. It's about creating solutions that everyone can apply to make the world a better place uh, in ways that are good for everybody. The practical aspect of it, from our perspective, is providing those in an open source and free shared, do-it-yourself, easy-to-follow, instructional way, and demonstrating them so that people can come and experience them as practical solutions. To say, wow, why would I want to build my own house? Or why would I want to build sustainably? Or why would I want to live this way? Does it really save me time? Does it really save me money? Does it really provide a better way of life for myself, for my family, for my friends? You know, what am I giving up and what am I getting? And so from our perspective, our goal is to demonstrate that creating everything you see happening in the background of this video and everything that we're open sourcing and free sharing will provide a way of living that is better than the way that most people are living right now. And to make it practical by demonstrating as easy enough and affordable, affordable enough so that people with average means and regular access to other people to help out can replicate what it is that we're doing for themselves, for their families, for their friends, to create a new way of life for themselves that's better than how they're living right now. And the practical highest good part of that is by designing it such that people participating in whatever way works best for you, for them, can will be taking steps, will be making a difference in the world. They will be, because everything is designed, with the consciousness and the thought process of what is for the highest good of all life on this planet, when people take what it is that we're creating and they implement it, even if it's just for themselves, it doesn't have to be for world change like we're creating. It doesn't have to be open source and free shared like we're doing. We're doing that work. And we're looking for others to help who are interested and passionate about doing that work too. But we're designing it so that people, other people don't have to do that work. So that other people using it for whatever reason and only using parts of it as well. It doesn't have to be a complete teacher demonstration hub. It doesn't have to be a complete community. It doesn't have to even be a complete educational program. You know, just this week we had somebody contact us that has a for-profit program that says, wow, we love your educational program. We're really motivated by that. Can we use that? It's like, yes, our terms and conditions of open source say absolutely. If you want to use our content to make better content for yourselves and to reference it, all you have to do is link back to what we're doing and say, hey, it's available for free here and you absolutely can do that. That, in our opinion, them wanting to use that, and I think it was, I can't remember which lesson plan what it was, but it was like honesty or something like that. It's like, man, a big group looking at something like that and saying, we want to use that and we're inspired by this. That's a step in the right direction. I mean, we put thousands of hours into designing those education programs. They're meant to be used. You know, so it's exciting for us to see our plans and our models being adopted outside of one community because we put so much time and energy in creating them with love, with thought for what is in the highest good of all people in all life. What can we do to make the world a better place? So when we see others taking this and implementing it, then we know that that's a step in the right direction. And so that's the practical highest good part from a big picture, from a global perspective. And the practical highest good from an individual perspective is like, hey, Practically speaking, if something saves people money and provides a better way of living than the way that they're living right now, it will predictably spread on its own. And one community is creating that. And we're going to build one community as a place that people could come and visit and experience it. So the skeptical, so the critical, so those that look at this and go, mm, I don't know about that. I'm not so sure. They can come and see for themselves. And if they still look at it and go, well, oh, that was great, except this, or oh, I'm not sure about that. Wonderful. Then take the parts that you like and replicate those. You know, the organization that contacts us about our educational information, you know, they were only interested in that. They didn't care about our sustainable building or anything. Wonderful. Take the education information and use that in the way that works for you. 
You know, maybe it's to grow something that you've never grown before. Maybe it's just to build a guest house. Maybe you're not interested in even building your own home. You're just interested in an affordable way to build a home that is super sustainable for people to spend time in that are visiting you. It could be a whole variety of different options of implementing ways that we're creating. But the point is that we're creating it so that the ultimate expression is one community where everything is one place and all of people's needs are met in one place and people have more free time to do the things that they want to do and more things to do with that free time. So people are living that in a way that I would describe as more luxurious than the way that most people are living. And not luxurious because they have a huge 10,000 square foot home, more luxurious because they have access to all the things that most people used to define a life as luxurious, really high quality food that's prepared for them and easily available and right there within walking distance. You know, a huge diversity of things to do, fun and enjoyable living experience, fulfilled living experience, personal growth opportunities, opportunities to go and do things with their friends, their family and their kids, you know, a, a, a superior education, you know, the ability to be a part of that education if they want for their children. You know, all of these things provide one place. More access to the toys, you know, that people like to play with, be it a motorcycle or a bicycle or a jet ski or a computer or software or whatever it is, all that stuff in one place, easily accessible because the community pools our resources together to provide that. So every tool that you could want is right there on the property. You know, most people don't have, say, a drill press because they're really expensive. But of course, one community will have that have that accessible and accessible to everybody at one community. Same thing for other large tools and machinery and equipment like that, using that to create a better life for everybody, accessible to everyone, you know, and creating the environment that, as I've said so many times before, we think will be considered far superior the way that most people are living right now. A more luxurious lifestyle with more freedom and time to do the things that people want to do and more things to do all within walking distance all free and included in the lifestyle you know an environment really where money doesn't need to exist and a massive revenue generating environment so people can get out of debt so that people can stay, never have to go into debt that are living in this environment and so that the environment has enough revenue generation to create and help create more and more and to be able to expand indefinitely developing more and more sharing more and more open sourcing and free sharing more and more and helping to create a better world for everybody practical highest good for the benefit of all people in life on this planet for the common good this is what one community is up to this is what our well over 500 volunteers have contributed to up to this point this is how i want to live and the other core members of our team want to live and this is what we're creating because we can make a difference. If not us, who? If not now, when? We can create a better world if we want to. And practice practical highest good is one pathway to doing that. So with that said, if you'd like to see the specifics of everything that our team has created and worked on in the last week, visit our written blog. If you'd like to see details and specifics on everything that's happening in the background of this video and so much more and all the stuff that we're working on, just visit our website and uh, stick around for a couple more minutes to see bullet points on all the major components of our project and what's included in that. And um, yeah, with that said, thanks for watching. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is Highest Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, 
learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.